Hi guys, this is Tracy. This week we have a free Halloween subway art SVG. And I'm going to show you how to attach it to make it easier for cutting. So the first thing I want to do, I want to make this a little smaller, just so you guys can see it better. Now with this design, I have the colors grouped, but I did not attach anything. So that way if you wanted to change the colors or take them off, however you wanted to arrange it, you can. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to ungroup this so the whole design is ungrouped. I want to find the black, all this down here, and I'm going to attach that. First before I do that I want to show you over here on where it says trick or treat you have purple and black. I did not attach or group the black wording that says trick or treat. It's actually um, hollow. Let me find it here. So if I hide this purple you can see it better. So this right here, the reason I did not put this black outline with this black over here, because the purple is going to lay down first. And if you attach this black to the rest of the black, if you attach that it's going to cut all together and then you'll have to lay that down and then put your purple in and it would be too difficult. So this black actually gets laid on top. So remember whenever you have black that's going to be laid on top of a color like this here, you don't want to attach it to your back layer. And I will show you what I mean when we get a little further into this, but I just wanted to show you that first that that's why that's not attached. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this black, and it is already grouped together, but if we were going to make this right now, your black is going to be all over the place. You see how this is, it's not lined up, it's going to be a pain, you're going to have to place it where it goes. So what I want to do is I want to grab this black, and I want to attach it. Okay, and the reason that I do that, now see, go back over to here. Now this is all together. All this black will cut together. So you can lay this down as your bottom layer. Okay, so let's go back over here. So we did the black, so I'm going to go ahead and hide that just to get it out of the way. Now I want to do the orange. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm just going to hit attach, and then I want to hide that to get it out of the way. Now the black down here, the face, and the 31st, I'm going to attach that together. And again, the reason that I did not do that is because it's going to get laid on top of color. So your your black, the big black would go down first, and then you would put your orange, and then this would go on top of it. So this I'm going to attach and hide it to get it out of the way. So your purple, this is up to you. If you want to attach this purple, along with the purple wording for the trick-or-treat, you can. But I want to show you something here. First let me ungroup this. Okay, so this purple, hold my shift key down. This purple, if I attach it, then when we go to make this, all this right here is going to be wasted vinyl. So again, this is personal preference. A lot of people don't like to waste all that vinyl. So this is completely up to you. You don't have to attach this if you don't want to. You can actually ungroup all the purple and you can attach all that and just do separate dots and place them individually. Up to you. Okay, so I am going to all the purple, hide that. And then same thing with the uh, yellow for the candy corn. I personally would not attach these just because it's all wasted vinyl again. But that's how you would set this one up. Okay. So now when we go to make this, oh, let me go back so I have everything hidden here. That's not going to show. Bring all of these back. Okay, so when we go to make it, now all your black is going to cut together. This is separate. So now I'm going to group all this together, move it out of the way, and show you how to do it with a name. Now whenever you're making a design, you want to make sure that you measure whatever you're going to put it on. Okay, so let's say we are going to put this on a tote bag. So we could do a personal, a personalized little trick-or-treat bag. Uh, just, just for demonstration here, I'm going to change this, let's make it white. I'm going to send this to the back. 
size this. This is just for visual purposes. You know, you're not going to cut this. This is just to help you gauge your size. Okay, so let's say we wanted to add a name in here. Uh, on the my blog post, you can see I have a name added at the top. And the font that I used, the system font, meaning that I already have it installed, it's called Broomsticks. Click on this. And then I think I'm going to change this to orange. And then again, you could go back if you wanted to attach this orange to your other orange so that it all cuts together. I'll move this out of the way and then I would line this up. Of that because I don't need that square anymore. After I just aligned it here. Okay, so you could come back and you could grab this orange, hit your shift button, that orange. Okay, yep, we have to ungroup it first. Okay, ungroup. All right, this orange, a shift button, that orange, and then hit attach. Okay, and then we're going to come back here and take this orange and send it to the back. That's why you can't see the face anymore. Okay. All right. And then it would all cut together. There you go, guys. I hope you like this week's design. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments or come over to the Facebook group and ask them there. Make sure you come show off your projects. You guys know I love seeing what you guys make. And that's it. Have a great day, guys. Thanks for being here. You know I appreciate you.